Next up, number four, Iowa 34, Indiana 6. Now, obviously, we're not going to spend long on this because this was a bludgeoning, but Michael Penix actually got benched late in this game. And, I mean, why wouldn't you? The game was over. Uh, this was bloodshed. This was a disaster for Indiana. They could not stop the run. They could not stop even the pass. And they could not get anything going. Michael Penix had three interceptions in this game. And as I was watching it on a different screen, a smaller screen, I did not see anything that made me feel good about Indiana in, in this ballgame. Iowa looks exactly like I thought they would look. They just dominated this football game all over the place. I, I know there were pick sixes and there was all this kind of stuff, but as far as the game itself goes, I mean, this, this is... Iowa gets game day next week because they're going to Ames for Iowa, Iowa State. It, and we'll talk about near upsets and whatnot here in a little while, but... I this is exactly what I expected from Iowa this year. Uh, how how did you feel about it? Uh, I thought this game would be closer. I thought Indiana would play hard, but I was very honest about that assessment in the sense of that's that's what I wanted to happen because I love Tom Allen. This is this Iowa team could be really good. This Iowa team could be special, and 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 this could be the best team in the Big Ten West definitely. And and you know. Is this a team that's built well enough to be able to compete with Ohio State or Penn State? Yeah, probably. The biggest question everybody had about the Hawkeyes was the defensive line because they lost some. Oh, well, it ain't no problem. It is no they problem. just replace those problems. Hey, you, you they just replace those dudes. You remember who's coaching the defensive line for them? Yeah. Kelvin Bell. Yeah, Olive that's the boy we went to high school with. Yeah. So he's, he used to, he used to beat me. He used to beat me up every day. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> right on that line of screen. And now he's teaching these Iowa kids how to beat up other people. And that's what they did yep. against Indiana. Uh, because that was that was a bludgeoning. That I don't I don't even know the easiest way to describe that, but I it, Iowa looks like they will probably win the West this year. Ben said Iowa wins the West, lock it in. Yeah, that was my pick to win the West this offseason. Like I, I feel really yep. good about Kurt Ferentz's team. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.